Greetings from the western edge of Massachusetts. Dear friends, we're so happy to share our birthday weekend trip with you. This trip was prepared for us by the Berkshires.org, the quintessential planning tool for your stay in the Berkshires. Our adventure begins in Lenox, a true Hallmark style town in an area brimming with history and charm. We are in front of the oldest residence in Lenox and it's called Birchwood Inn and that's where we are staying for this little getaway. Birchwood Inn dates back to 1766. Tom and Debbie, the current owners, made us feel very welcome. We felt like very good old friends. We really enjoyed to hear their story how they became innkeepers and to be surrounded by the warm hospitality. Each room are named after previous owners and for this weekend we are going to stay in the Goodwin room. After a good night's sleep we wake up to a wonderful fragrance of homemade breakfast. Seriously the best breakfast we ever had. Delighted, we leave the inn towards our first part of the tour. About a 45 minute drive to North Adams, the steeple city. Here we are at Mass Mocha, a Massachusetts Museum of Modern Art, and it is massive. Let's go take a look around. The museum is set in a big brick building from the late 1700s, where an industry of ironwork has left a clear mark. Here you can see traditional and modern art of the bigger scale. This is art that does not only have to be admired by the eyes alone, but with feelings, reaction and thoughts. After an interesting art experience, we head out to explore the quaint town. Wherever we go, we like to check in the local library. It gives us a feeling about the community. It's hard not to sing in the rain, in a town that's filled with antique stores and a fall foliage train ride that awaits us. All aboard with the Berkshire Scenic Railway. Now, where are we? We are on a train, an old, older train. And it, it's a fall foliage toy. Yes. And um, what do you have to say? And this is just an old fashioned dream come true. No matter rain or sun, Berkshire's is always beautiful and there is always a cafe that is open just for you. After two lovely nights in Lenox, we wave goodbye for now from Olivia's Overlook and head towards the last destination on our special tour. Here we are at Santarella, also known as the Gingerbread House, and it's a whimsical event space and Airbnb, and we're gonna go take a tour. The unique and whimsical design was built by Santarella's most famous owner, Sir Henry Hudson Kitson, a sculptor from England, known for many statues around the whole world. The current owner, Denise, walks us through the history to present where she and her husband rented out 
for special events and unique lodging experiences. It's like being in a storybook. And that's a perfect end to this chapter of our time in the Berkshires. Bye for now. And hey do, allihopa.